After stage 9 had to be cancelled, 23 quads took the start of stage 10 this Thursday between Chilecito and San Juan. For Casale, the strategy was to close in on Sergei Kayaking, leader of the GC, and Axel Dutry, provisional second. The Chilean decided to ride full throttle in the first part of the special. At the first checkpoint, the Chilean had the upper hand, but rapidly the Russian came back on him and passed Casale halfway through the race. Karyakin increased his advantage over the fast second part of special, and in the end he clinched the stage success with a 10-minute gap over his new pursuer. Indeed, the tenant of the second place of the GC changed as Francis Axel Dutry lost hours because of mechanical problems. He still sits in third place of the GC, where Karyakin holds a 20-minute advantage over Casale. Axel Dutry lived a difficult stage 10 to San Juan, but a few days before the French lot had already noted the withdrawal of a pretender to a Dakar final victory. Leader after stage 5, Simon Witz was forced to withdraw during stage 8 after several mechanical failures. It was frustrating for the rookie, who was then in second place of the GC and clearly could aim for a podium. Well, this morning I've got an electrical problem and I'm really not exactly sure what it is. I changed a couple of things around and I managed to ride for another 100 kilometers, but now it's broken again and I don't know why. It won't start and I haven't got any spare batteries. I'm devastated. In the trucks, the gaps were very limited between the two leading cameras, Sopnikov, the best rank, and Nikolaev second, and Gerardo Roy's Iveco. The Dutchman was embushed less than three minutes adrift. The struggle is constant between De Roy and Nikolaev, who both won the event twice, and the newcomer of the Russian constructor. In this stage 10, the 2017 Dakar race to victory came at a crossroad, where experience will pay, and Eduard Nikolaev races for the tenth time. He took commands at the best time and climbed to the top of the leaderboard. If Iveco's Federico Villagra was fast at the beginning of the day, Nikolaev increased his pace from waypoint 2 and never slowed down. Kamaz even confiscated the top three in San Juan, with Nikolaev reaching ahead of Sotnikov and Erat Mardayev. However, it wasn't enough to do the same for the GC, where De Roy resists. The Iveco pilot lost ground in this stage 10, though, and maybe the Dakar win. He concluded the day in 7th place, over 23 minutes behind the winner. De Roy, third of the GC, seems too far from the two Russian leaders, Nikolaev and Sopnikov, who stand only 5 minutes 15 apart. Mm -hmm.